The Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Pythagorean theorem. Put this in your notes. The sides of a right triangle can be labeled in the following way. A and B are the legs, and C is the hypotenuse. Draw this and label it in your notes. Pause the video if you need to. When given two sides of a triangle that are both the legs, in order to find the hypotenuse, you do the following. First identify what is A. Then identify what is B. It really doesn't matter which is A and which is B. Either one will work. The one that truly matters is C. C must be directly across from the 90 degree angle. It must be the hypotenuse. You are now going to apply the Pythagorean theorem. You are going to substitute the values of 3 in for A and 4 in for B. So we write 3 squared plus 4 squared equals x squared. Please copy this into your notes. Pause the video if you need to. We begin to simplify this expression before we solve it using PEMDAS operations. 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16. Whoops, mistake. Four squared is 16. The next step is to add the 16 plus the 9. That would give us the next step of 25 equals x squared. The next step is to take the square root of both sides. When we take a square root, we get a positive and a negative value. The answer is plus or minus 5. The square root of x squared is x. Since we are talking about the length of a right triangle, we know that we only want the positive value. Therefore, x equals 5. The missing side of the triangle is 5. Pause the video if you need to. Now you try. Copy the following problem down. Pause the video. When you are ready, continue. Here is the solution. A is 5. B is 12. We are looking for the missing side of C, which we will label as X. Substituting in the Pythagorean theorem, we have that 5 squared plus 12 squared equals X squared. 5 squared is 25, 12 squared is 144. 25 plus 144 is 169, equals X squared. Taking the square root of both sides, we have the square root of 169 equals the square root of X squared. The square root of X squared is X. The square root of 169 is positive and negative 13, but as we saw before, we only want the positive value when dealing with the Pythagorean theorem.